it's Tina and I am back and I am here with my haul from the VIB sale it's for spring 2016 and I know you guys have been waiting on me to film this haul and I've been waiting to film this haul because my last order was just taking forever to get here and I finally got the last couple of items I didn't want to film without getting everything together because I felt like oh I need to get all my eggs in one basket and just film the total haul and in addition to that this is going to be one of my last hauls for the next 90 days. I am going on a 90 day no buy. I know. What? Me? Yes, child. I am going on a no buy because I need it. I didn't pick up as many things as, all right, I did. Let's, I mean, who am I kidding? I picked up a lot of things for the VIB sale, but I also picked up quite a few pricey things. La Mer, anybody? And... I decided, you know what, I spent so much money in the just the first couple of months of the year, I'm going to go on a 90 day no buy, so I'm not buying any new products for the next 90 days, and I'm just going to enjoy my current collection and enjoy the new items that I have in my collection that I haven't had a chance to really play with and enjoy and test out so I can do reviews for you guys. So I'm going to do a little bit more, I guess, get ready with me videos, makeup tutorials, reviews, swatch videos for you guys instead of haul videos. Although there will be two more hauls coming up because I do have a higher end haul to do. All. I have a higher end haul to do and a MAC haul as well. And I wanted to just do those two separate from the Sephora sale. So you have two more hauls to look forward to. I'll break it up. But I'm just letting you guys know I'm going on a no buy. And if anybody wants to join me, it's for May, June almost July so in the middle of July is when I'll break it so that's it let's jump into the products and I didn't get as many products as you would think I did go ahead and grab the Disney mini beauty Sephora collection bag this is a 200 point perk and my products were in this bag all right they were in two of these bags because I have two of them who am I kidding who am I kidding but I laid out all the products in front of me and they aren't as many as you would think or expect from me. But, and they aren't that interesting either. That's why I didn't do like a, oh, what to get from the haul because I didn't really have a really fantastic list. And these things are products that really I just wanted to try out. I truly have no experience with most of these products and I just wanted to try them out. And a lot of it that I got was skincare and hair care. So I'll share the first two things that's for my, well, the couple of things that's for my hair. I grabbed the Strivectin Hair Color Care. So Strivectin is a skincare brand and they recently debuted some hair care products and they sent me some of the hair care products. They sent me these exact ones because they asked me if I wanted color care or curl care. Or what was I looking for in uh, hair care products? And I said I wanted color care because my hair is colored. Speaking of, I need to get this colored. I want to lighten the ombre and maybe do like a light pink in it. I got to figure that out, like a pastel pink. But I got to find a really good colorist that can really handle this hair. Anyway, the point is, they sent me these two products. And I was using them religiously. I didn't show them in a video or anything. And I use them all up and I need to get backups. And these are a pricey, they're $23 I think each, the shampoo and the conditioner. So it was great to get them during the sale. And I really like these. I just like how it makes my hair feel. I don't think the conditioner does anything spectacular. In fact, I use a different conditioner, a deep conditioner in conjunction with this. But I really like the shampoo and I think it really makes my hair feel nice. It doesn't tear as much or break as much. So I'm really liking this. And, but I'm going to save this for when I get my hair color treated again. So once the color is fresh and everything, I'm going to go ahead and use these. In the package that they sent me, they also included this Vibrancy Booster, which is a treatment for after you shampoo and condition. You work this through your hair and leave on for a few minutes and then rinse. So again, I'm saving this for when I actually refresh my color. So I'm going to see how that works. I also picked up a couple more hair care things. And... It was just the time to try out new things that I was seeing. And I saw this particular product pop up in the new items 
line up in Sephora. You know when you go on Sephora online, I'm always on Sephora online. And that's something I'm going to have to avoid for the next 90 days. I mean, I can do it and kind of just scope things out, add things to my bag, but not buy them, right? <laughs> I'm going to really be tempting myself. But what I'm going to do is do that really peruse the site and really see things that I want to try and add them to my bag and figure things out, read reviews for real, real before I take the splunge 90 days later. But anyway, this brand here is new to Sephora. I've never seen it before and it popped up in their new, new products, just arrived items. And it's the Madame CJ Walker Beauty Culture Scent and Shine Coconut Oil. And it said coconut oil and me and my husband, we're on this coconut oil, organic, all natural kick right now. We're not being crazy about it, but we're just trying to transition some of our products into the more organic and all natural, you know, kind of thing. And I saw this and I'm like, wow, yes, hey, tell me about it. So it's a nourishing and moisturizing oil treatment. And it just has coconut oil and fragrance, which is an essential oil blend. And I was like, let me try this out. So I ordered this and it came pretty quickly. It was like at the beginning of the sale and it smells so good. It comes in this little pump bottle. You put a little bit in your hand, add it to your hair, it adds shine. You know, it helps nourish your hair, especially if you have curly hair, this would be really good. But what got me is that it smells so freaking good. I'm just like, yo, them need for my perfume because it smells really good. Oh, hold up. It is made in Amityville and wait for real. Mega reach out to them. It's organic ingredients. I live very close to Amityville, so that's what I'm saying. So hmm, that's really nice. A Long Island brand. That's cool. So it smells. Listen, if you're into shining products, if you have more natural hair, I wouldn't say if you have light or fine hair, get this. It's a very heavy product. It does weigh your hair down. But if just for the smell, like I got caudally divine oil for the smell. So imagine what I'm thinking about this. This is so good. And it's 20, I think $26. So I really love this. And because I got that and I got that delivered earlier, I also went ahead and grabbed the Scent and Shine Jamaican Black Castor Oil, which is nourishing and restoring. And I was like, all right, if that one's so good, this one's going to be great, right? Mm, I don't like this one as much. This one is a much thicker consistency. And I should have known better because Jamaican black castor oil is great for natural hair. So um, kinkier hair, a coarser texture, it's really good for nourishing that kind of hair. And it nourishes the scalp and it keeps hair really moisturized and nice. And it actually helps your hair to grow. And I was like, oh, I'm going to get that. But I'm like, wait a minute. My hair is not that type of hair. And this is very thick. It's one of those th things where you would grease your scalp with it. If you're black, you know what I'm talking about. You grease your scalp with Jamaican castor oil. Really, it makes your hair and really just really flourish. So if you want a really good product for really coarse, thick hair and maybe your kids or something, Jamaican castor oil, black castor oil is really good. There's one at Sally Beauty Supply that's much cheaper. My husband has it. It smells great as well, and it's really good. This one is a, just a bit too thick for me, and I'm thinking of returning it, but I don't know if I will. I might give it to my husband because he uses black castor oil in his hair as well as his beard, and it's really been doing a great job, so I might keep this because again this one smells so good this one smells like musk it's a it's a headier um more sexy more almost masculine scent so i think he might like this one this one's more light it's more of a vanilla and coconut i don't it's a sweet it smells sweet like um werther's you know where this candy, the sweet one, the butterscotch. Oh yes, it smells like butterscotch. But it just smells so good. I, I love this. And I also grabbed the Curl Enhancing Jamaican Black Castor Oil and Muru, what? Muru Muru, Muru Muru, Muru Muru Oils. And this is an edge control and shape paste. And it's for taming and smoothing. So 
my edges stay laid because my products that I use, <laughs> I keep them laid. I use the Design Essentials Edge Control, the maximum strength. They've discontinued that and now they're doing a Moroccan oil version or a more all natural version. And I didn't try that one out yet because I have backups of my edge control because my edges, sweetheart, listen, my edges though, and I wear my hair in a ponytail all day long because I'm in the gym and the easiest way to style my hair is in a ponytail because this doesn't happen as often as it used to. So I wanted to try this one out and this one is more lightweight. It's definitely not as sticky, definitely not as tacky and I can actually use it on my flyaways. So I like having this. I use very little and just use it on my flyaways to pat them into place instead of using like a hairspray. This actually holds my um, flyaways down, plus I can use it on my edges and it's not as tacky and sticky and maximum control as my Design Essentials one. Alright, so that's it for the hair stuff. Let's get into the face stuff. And one brand that I knew I wanted to try was Sunday Riley. A lot of people have been talking about Sunday Riley and I am not the biggest fan of, again, hyped up products on YouTube. But I've been hearing so much about Sunday Riley and my return hand is so strong. So if it wasn't top notch, listen, I have no problems with a return. I used to be so bad about returning products, I would hold on to products. And then I met my husband, Mr. King of Returns, and he was like, return it. And I'm like, but they're gonna look at me funny. And no, my return hand is strong. Listen, in the US, we have great return policies and I'm gonna take advantage of it. I spend far too much money at Sephora to not return a product when I don't like it and I'm not gonna use it. It's not gonna sit in my collection. So I can never really truly do uh, disappointing products or products I regret buying because if I truly regret it that much, it's returned. I mean, there are a few items here in my collection that I do kind of like, it's not my favorite, but if it really is bad, I'm returning it. So I don't even have products to show you things that I that were really disappointing. I return with a swiftness. So keeping with what I'm saying, I got the Tidal Brightening Enzyme Water Cream and this is, I guess, a hydrating cream. It has hyaluronic acid and that's really good for um, brightening and smoothing the complexion. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna try it. And it's a nice cream, I have to use it more obviously. And I got quite a few skincare products. So, and skincare products, one of those things you have to try out for a while to really see if they're worth it. But I liked how it felt on my skin. This is definitely for nighttime, not for daytime. My daytime needs, I need oil control, I need mattifying, I don't need moisturizing. So this is a nighttime treatment. In fact, what I do is I come home from work, wash my face, get all the makeup off, and then I'll apply this before I go to the gym because I need some moisture on my skin before I go work out. Just because my skin can get tight and dry and I just moisturize a little bit before I go to the gym and that gives it some time to sink in. And then when I come home and take my shower and everything, then I do a proper treatment. But anyway, I got that and then I grabbed the Power Couple Kit. I was gonna buy the Luna Oil and the Good Jeans all-in-one treatments on their own and they're very pricey and I'm like, but what if I don't like them? What's the sense of buying them full size when they have this little kit? They have, it's the Good Jeans all-in-one lactic acid treatment and then the Luna Sleeping Night Oil, which was the one I was hesitant about because I don't really like oils. They just, oily skin oils, it just doesn't really work out. And then the oils that I use don't really absorb into the skin. So it's like, I can't be bothered. It just doesn't feel good on my skin. I don't get the hydration and I don't get the hype that everybody's into. So I said, you know what? All right, I'll try it in this sample size and then figure out if I really like it. So far, I tried it a couple of times. I like the good, the good jeans treatment. The, the night oil I can do without, it just, I don't get it. It doesn't really do anything that great to my skin and it doesn't absorb very well. So I'm just left with this oily mess on my skin and then I'm going to sleep on my pillows. And I'm like, I'm just, I don't sleep nice and cute at all. My face is everywhere. I turn and I twist and I sleep with a face mask. So these are really not the best things to be applying right before I go to sleep. So... 
I wouldn't recommend this one if you have oily skin necessarily, but it has retinol and it says blue tansy. I don't know. I still have to work on these and see if these are things that I truly, truly love. This one I wouldn't return because it's a value pack and I'll just, I'll just use them up because they're smaller sizes. And then also from Sunday Riley, I decided to try one of her makeup -y items. This is the Effortless Breathable Tinted Primer. And it's a pretty sizable bottle, I must say. It's one ounce and it's a sheer and lightweight effortless breathable tinted primer. And it says it oxygenates and plumps your skin, making it a smooth, flawless surface for precise foundation application. So... I decided to get this, especially with the warmer months coming up. If this is like a tinted moisturizer kind of product, then that will be great because then I can just use it as a little tint of color on my skin. And I got this, it's one, sh no, I got the shade Deep. I think they have two or three shades in this. I got Deep, as I said. And I am really interested in trying this out. It feels very lightweight, but it has this, it has a moussey texture. And it's, I don't know, it gives a little glow to the skin without being overly oily. So I'm going to see, I'm going to try this out and see how it goes. Hopefully it works out really well because that would be nice to have like a skincare primer in one, you know, that I can still use like as a tinted product. So that is, yeah, that's one that I'm, in, I'm really excited about. And then to finish up with the skincare products, I got a couple of things from Junk Elephant, another one of those brands that everybody has been talking about. On YouTube and again I am very hesitant so I go in for products from those brands that I'm like yeah those will more than likely work so let me go ahead and try it out I got the drunk elephant juju bar this is the cleanse exfoliate and heal bar it has thermal mud marula superfruit and bamboo and the pH level is 6.34 so this is gonna cleanse your skin this is the one that's meant for oily skin and it looks like this it's just a little bar of, it looks like a bar soap. And you're supposed to just get a little water, rub it between your hands, get some of the product off, and then use it to cleanse and exfoliate your skin. And it actually does have, it's almost like it has rice powder in it. So you feel the texture, but it's not overly gritty or too grainy. And it actually works really well if you have oily skin. It really gets rid of the oil. But be careful because it can be very drying. So... I'm liking this so far as well, and I am very happy I got this. In addition to that, I got another little duo. This is the PK Bar and the Juju Bar. So one is Clarify, Balance, and Moisturize. That's the PK Bar. And that one has Marula, Blueberry Extract, and Honey. And that's meant for more, I guess, sensitive skin, um, normal skin, and dry skin. And then the Juju Bar is for... Um, oily skin of course and I got these because I can travel with these and sometimes when I travel I don't want to bring a separate exfoliator I really just want to go with whatever but this way I can bring an exfoliator that's not a liquid so I can toss it on my in my carry-on and it's easy it's travel friendly and it's good to have to cleanse my skin while I'm on vacation or I'm doing business trips. All right, we are done with skincare. Moving on, I grabbed a backup of the Parfume Divine, the Caudalie. This is the Caudalie Divine Oil Perfume. So it smells like their Divine Oil. I love this so much. I have the candle, I have the perfume, I have the Divine Oil itself, and I had to get a backup because the one that I have is almost done, like for real. It nearly done, you see? I don't have to reach. Like, I use this daily, so I had to get a backup. And it's pricey, so it's great to get it on sale. I also went ahead and grabbed some items from the Sephora collection, because the Sephora collection, they have some really nice things sometimes, but sometimes they're a little bit pricey. Like, some of their things are really inexpensive, and then others you're like, what? Sephora, what are you doing to me? But I grabbed my Sephora Ge Bright Future Gel Serum Concealers. I grabbed my backup shades in number 13 Cream Caramel and 14 Toffee. If you know me, you know I love these concealers for my concealing purposes. I don't paint my whole face with concealer. So if that's what you're into, I can't vouch for that, but I do think it's a fantastic concealer, especially for oily skin, because it dries to a flat kind of powdery finish. Not dry, matte, but it's a nice, comfortable finish, and it doesn't crease and all that bad stuff. So 
had to get backups of that. I also grabbed a couple of brushes from their collection. They had this brush here. It's the Pro Featherweight Fan Brush. It's the number 92. And all right, I'm gonna try to open it now. But I was like, wait, it looked like it's a knife. And I've seen somebody use this brush. I forget where I saw it, but it's a, it's a fan brush. And I don't do fan brushes. If you see my brush collection, you will not see a fan brush anywhere because, all right, all right, I do have one. This is like a fan brush. This is the Tarte Dual Ended, I think it's a contour brush. But this is an actual fan brush. And I just hate fan brushes. I don't care what they're meant to do. I just think they're useless. I really can't get with it. But this one, I was like, but it look fluffy and nice. And Sephora Pro brushes are actually pretty good. They're just a little bit pricey. And that's what I'm talking about. Like some of the prices, it's like 30 something dollars for this brush. And it's like, but that doesn't seem right for a Sephora brand. But on sale, why not? So I grabbed this brush and I'm going to try to use it for highlight because that's what it's meant for. And I'm very excited about it because it's very fluffy and it looks, oh, can you see that though? Listen, just looking at it, it's giving you feelings, right? All kinds of feelings. You're feeling it. And then another brush that I got was the, this one is the Pro Press Full Coverage Precision number 67 brush. And this it says patent pending really this one I got the foundation version of this or the lar it's a larger version let me open it yeah then plastic and a good for the soul and my nails but it's oh god just just open please I actually like that it has all that plastic on it though because that means nobody was really fondling it in store or in the warehouse but I still wash my brushes before I use them uh, oh yeah open it but see you now lord more complication oh there we go but it's a little it's a really stiff dense brush it has kind of a teardrop shape and i'm gonna use it for under my eyes and even for like buffing in base products on my eyelids because i really like the shape of it the other one that i have this is the larger version it is the number 66 so 66 67 and they're just meant for foundation and concealer and products that you want to get an airbrush finish like a beauty blender sponge and that's what they're mimicking the beauty blender sponge only in um brush form i guess and it has a really dense and very soft texture so i can see us using this to press things in and it says press full coverage so you're supposed to use it to press product in and I'm liking this one so far, so I thought I would like this the smaller one as well. Also from the Sephora collection, I got the Beauty Amplifier Set and Refresh Spray. And this is just a setting spray. And I wanted to try this one out because it says set and refresh your makeup with this multitasking spray. And the Lemon Balm and Peppermint Extracts leave skin feeling rejuvenated and fresh. So this will be an interesting one. And I also got their Instant Dry Brush Cleaner Spray, which is a dry clean formula for your brushes. So I'm going to, I don't know. I saw them. I said they were interesting products. Let me try them out. So that's what I did. I just grabbed them. Sale time is the time to do that. Moving on to some fun makeup items because I haven't done any fun makeup items yet. I got the Laura Mercier Face Illuminators. I got two of them. I think, no, I got three. I got the shade Indiscretion. I got the shade Seduction. And then the other one is what? Devotion? Or was that the one I returned? Um, I'll show you them up close in a minute. But these are lightweight highlighters from Laura Mercier. They are not as intense, I've been hearing, as her previous highlighters. But this is not a highlighter. It's just an illuminator. So I think just based on what they're trying to say the name is or the intention is not to really highlight and see you from the sky it's really meant to just illuminate your skin a little bit so again i got the shade indiscretion addiction is in the middle and then seduction is this one so this one is more of a peachy pink this one is a yellow gold in the middle and then you have a deep bronze shade and again i'll show you the other one the pink one which would think was devotion and that one just is too icy for my skin 
I am actually very excited to try these. I am a little bit nervous because I don't know how I'm going to like them, but they were very pricey products. So, of course, I was going to order them during the sale, and it was a good thing that they came out during the sale because it would have been a disaster to try to get these full price. So here they are again. This is indiscretion. This is addiction, and this is um, seduction. So indiscretion is that lighter peachy pink. Addiction is a yellow gold, and then seduction is that bronze shade. And they look lightweight enough to be very happy on my skin. So I'm actually very excited about these, to be honest. Now that I've swatched them, I'm really excited to try them out. I didn't swatch them all this time because, like I said, I was waiting on the products to come and I didn't want to, like, I didn't want to play in the makeup yet. I wanted to wait for you guys because, you know, my love in a long time. So I got the Double Wear Stay in Place makeup. This one, I've been wanting to, oh, Estee Lauder. I've been, I've been wanting to try this and a lot of people are like, you have oily skin. This is the foundation to try. Like, what are you waiting on, miss? So I was like, you know what? I'm going to buy the bullet and try it. And I went and got my shade. My, well, I went and did a swatch thing in store at Saks Fifth Avenue. And then my buy it online. So for, you know, all you do the things. So I got the shade 5N1 Rich Ginger. And that's uh, N means neutral. So I'm hoping this shade is good. I'm going to test this out and try it out. That was the only foundation product I picked up. Because I already rent, went on a foundation binge. In fact, I did a swatch video for all my foundations, so that will be coming up soon, if not already, and I'll link it below if you're interested. It's my 2.0 of all the foundations that I have in my collection, so you can see my shade swatches and matches. I also grabbed the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Aqua Sealer Concealer in the shade Deep. You know I got the shade Tan, I think, and the shade Deep was just a better match for me, and I actually like the concealer so I wanted to give the deep shade a try so I did grab that and then for lipsticks I did pick up a couple of lipsticks I picked up a Tom Ford ultra rich lip color this is in the shade temptation weights and I am not the biggest fan of Tom Ford lipsticks because they're pricey and but they're very pretty to look at right and it's I don't think they're that like I don't know I don't think they're that great that you need to spend that kind of money on them but this shade I was like let me try it out it looks like a shade that I would like it's a very dark rich nude as you can see and I just said you know what I'm gonna test it out so I'm giving this guy a shot and then another lip product that I got was one that I was thinking about it was in my loves for a minute because I'm like I didn't want to spend the money on this product because really it is the bite beauty matte lip crayon matte cream lip crayon and this is the shade blanc it's a white lip color and it's meant for ombre lips so you can apply this over different lipsticks to get a lighter color you can do uh, ombre with it you can lighten up colors that were too light for you, too dark for too light too dark for you and it's just a gimmicky product but i thought it was worth checking out so i did grab that because sale and stuff I also grabbed a Guerlain Meteorites. This is the Pearls Carousel. And why am I showing you the box? Oh, I didn't even open this yet. So pretty. This one, oh, it's so pretty. If you know Guerlain Pearls Meteorites, you know, ooh, it's a set of pearls in a little cake, in a little container. Oh, God, it got everywhere just now. Oh, God, that got everywhere. Chama just cleaning a box foot. So it's, oh, they're pearl powders, they're pinky shades, a lavender, some gold. So I'm thinking, oh, don't fall out. I'm thinking this will be a very nice powder. I, <coughs> oh, it's dusty. Mm -mm. Meteorites are used for setting powders or finishing powders. This one is just a pinker version, so it's more of a blush tone. So I'm going to try this guy out. I'm, I don't know what I'm doing right now. It's a very soft color. But this powder is getting everywhere. Stop. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That sound like a brat, right? I sound like a brat. And then one product I was waiting on is this poor sebum control moisture stick. It's a poor ritual. It's sebum control, control and it hydrates. 
and it's from Cow Lion. Cow Lion. I almost said Cotillion, but I don't think it's Cotillion, but it's a sebum control and, and pore minimizing product. Oh God, open. So this was one of the products I was waiting on. It's a new brand, Sephora, and I said, let me try it out. And what the hell is this? That's all. That's all. That wait. Okay. This better had not been. been mm -mm. I gotta check the price because if it dear, may I bring it back. So that's one of the things. And then I also got a Bobbi Brown retouching face pencil. These are not new, but I wasn't gonna buy one because they're pricey. It's Bobbi Brown, but this is the shade number eight. So I figured this would be a good um, concealer, retoucher, eyeshadow primer, eyeliner, whatever. I'm gonna. I'm interested in that one. And again, it's shade number eight, dark. And then I grabbed the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye. I grabbed the last one, the Smoke Quad. Now I'm not too happy with these and I might return this one. This one was just in my cart and it ended up just getting added along with everything else because it was the last one in the ones that I reviewed. I'll hit the, I'll link the review down below. But this is the gray toned um, quad, the cool tone grays. So I grabbed that one, we'll see how that goes. And then the very last thing that I got that I was lucky enough to grab are the Viseart Theory Palettes. These these came online like the day the day the sale ended, so I went ahead and grabbed them. This is the Chroma um, set. It has six eyeshadows. There are three mattes and then three shimmers. So. These I'm going to do a review of, so I'm not going to swatch them right now. I have the third one on its way from Muse Beauty Pro as well as the Boheme palette. That is the colorful shimmery one. So this one is the Cashmere. So I picked the, the three of these up because I'm, I haven't done my Viseart review yet. I think the eyeshadows are phenomenal. I don't think all the palettes are necessarily worth it because there's some of them that have tricky glittery shades in them that are not necessarily my favorites, but they might be yours. And there's some that the colors just don't jive with my skin tone, but they might be perfect on your skin tone. So overall, I do think Viseart is top notch. It's hella worth the price. And I think they're really good palettes, really good products, and they never ever fail me. So I'm hoping these little theory palettes will be great as well and I'm just excited to try them out so that's gonna wrap up my haul and again stay tuned there will be two more hauls coming up it's gonna be a high-end haul that's gonna be a smaller haul but a very expensive haul and then a MAC haul to show you some of my new MAC products and I am gonna work on that I am actually working on that MAC swatch video for you the eyeshadow swatch video I have my full list of eyeshadows so I am set and prepared to do that so ta-da my haul is done and I'm actually on my way to work right now and I decided to do this video before I headed out so I am actually running late shh don't worry I will make up the time but thank you guys for spending some time with me today I really appreciate it and I will talk to you guys soon bye